Before we jump into today's Chicago Bears mailbag video where you guys submit your questions, subscribe to the channel. Listen, we're growing every single day. We're trying to get to 60,000 subs so we can do a live fan-led mock draft. We're getting closer and closer. If you want the daily uh, Chicago Bears news headlines, the latest rumors that are out there, draft, free agency coverage, live shows every Tuesday, and when breaking news happens, this is the channel for you. We don't charge you a dime. Hit that sub button and let's jump into today's show. I'm Harrison Graham, and you're watching Chicago Bears Now. Let's get into your questions, hashtag Bears or Super Chat, as it is mailbag time here on the channel. From Alex Dino, Todd Bowles for DC. I mean, a lot of things would have to happen for that to happen. Number one, you got to fire Allen Williams. And number two, the Bucks have to fire Todd Bowles. So uh, don't think that's happening. Uh, I think Allen Williams will be back next season. Maybe I'm wrong, uh, but I don't think coordinator changes are coming for Chicago. Oh, geezer Karen, uh, thoughts on Tyree Wilson on a trade down? Uh, I've made that pick in my mock drafts before. I'd, I think on two of my Bears mock drafts, we've done nine or ten of them now. Uh, I've traded down and taken Tyree Wilson out of Texas Tech a couple of times. Freak athlete, 6'6", 275, really agile, uh, open to it, very, very open. Super chat from Paul Dow, appreciate all the supers. Trade first to Indy for their... 2023rd number or for the number four overall pick third round pick uh 2024 first and second and quentin nelson would you take that deal i would in a heartbeat yeah that's a lot i would probably take that deal uh paul dow uh quentin nelson hasn't played as well the past two years but he's still a really good guard pair him with tevin jenkins and braxton jones add a center and a right tackle boom you're cooking with gas from Adam Charles, since the free agency wide receiver pool is light, could you see the Bears signing Dalton Schultz or Evan Ingram at tight end? Uh, I could see it potentially, Adam. Um, and you're right, the receiver uh, free agency pool is light. You know, you got like Juju, McCole Hardman, who's the guy, in Kendrick Bourne in New England. There's a few others, uh, OBJ, of course, but uh, it is a pretty strong tight end free agency class. You've got Dalton Schultz, who played under the franchise tag this year in Dallas, and he's really been uh, that safety valve for Dak, Pre Dak Prescott. Had a great playoff game against the Bucs on Monday night, uh, 577 yards and five touchdowns this year. Evan Ingram had a career year for Jacksonville, 73 catches, 766 and four touchdowns. Uh, and I think he helped out a young quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. You would hope he could do the same with Justin Fields. So, yeah. The uh, long, short answer is I'd be interested in either of these guys. I think this offense um, uh, wants to run a lot of two tight end sets. Most Shanahan type of offenses do. Uh, Cole Komet's uh, had a nice year with seven touchdowns. Pair him with one of these guys. Uh, that, that could be fun. That could be really, really fun. Pick a tight end for me. Type DS for Dalton Schultz, EE for Evan Ingram. Ingram's the more upside play. Schultz is, you know, probably the better overall you know, all around tight end, better blocker than Ingram. Ingram more of that downfield threat, though. So it kind of depends on what you want. DS for Schultz or EE for Ingram. From J-Dubs, what does he bring to the move to Arlington? Talking about Kevin Warren. Well, he's very experienced with stadium developments. Uh, helped spearhead uh, U.S. Bank Stadium in Minnesota. It's one of the state-of-the-art state of facilities in the NFL. I think he can do the same here uh, and uh, stay on budget. And uh, I just think, uh, you know, he's going to be a better fit uh, than a guy like Ted Phillips. I think he's been around a lot of a lot of football in his life. Ted Phillips, all he knows is the Bears franchise. Uh, Kevin Warren's been with the Vikings, the Lions. He was the Big Ten commissioner for a couple of years. Like, he's got a lot of relevant experience, uh, and I think uh, that's really going to help uh, him into this new role. Manny Gian with the $5 super. If you can choose which five free agents are you taking, great content, brother. Uh, get the bear downs going for Manny Gian. Uh, appreciate uh, the, uh, the question there. If I had to pick five free agents, I would probably go Deron Payne, Mike McGlinchey at right tackle. I would go Saquon Barkley or David Montgomery, depending on price. Um, maybe Juju, and then maybe a corner or linebacker. Maybe... Uh, Okariki out of uh, Indianapolis, you know, someone to pair with Jack Sanborn. Uh, there's a lot more names than that, some more linemen, but uh, those are five names that come to, to mind right off the bat. 
Now we're going to answer more of your questions uh, coming up here in just a second. But today's episode of Chicago Bears Now is presented by LinkedIn Talent Solutions. As a small business owner or hiring manager, you know that success in 2023 all depends on the team members you surround yourself with. That's why you got to check out LinkedIn Jobs right now. With LinkedIn Jobs, you can hire qualified candidates more efficiently by matching open roles with people who have the skills, values, and experiences to help you achieve your goals. LinkedIn Jobs will help you quickly attract qualified candidates to your open jobs with targeting tools. They go beyond resume data by using insights from your job post company and their 875 million member profiles to put your post in front of the most qualified candidates. LinkedIn Jobs makes it easy to screen and rate applicants based on your job qualifications on one platform. It's why small businesses rate LinkedIn Jobs number one in delivering quality hires versus leading competitors. LinkedIn Jobs helps you find quality, qualified candidates you want to talk to faster. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash NFL daily. That is linkedin.com slash NFL daily. Terms and conditions apply. Check the description and the comments for that link below. It's linkedin.com slash NFL daily. Help your small business grow in 2023. Let's go to Paul Easter with the Bucks probably going into a rebuild. Do you see anyone you want to target there? How about Vita Vea? I mean, I love Vita Vea. I mean, I would certainly have interest in him. I don't know if he'll get moved, but assuming Brady walks, could Mike Evans or Chris Godwin get traded? I, I'd be interested in those guys. Uh, Devin White would be a great fit. I probably wouldn't trade for him uh, just because, you know, you didn't pay Roquan Smith. Why would you pay Devin White? But, um, yeah, they've got guys that I would absolutely be interested in. $10 super chat from Alex Deno. Trade with the Seahawks for their first round pick. Bruce Irvin, Tyler Lockett, and other picks. Um, I don't know what Bruce Irvin really offers. I know he kind of played well this year for Seattle, but he's pretty old. Um, I like Tyler Lockett. He's getting up there, but he's still like a number two type of receiver. Uh, get more picks. Depends what those picks are, but picks, Lockett, uh, to move from one to five. Yeah, if you get a couple more premium picks, I'm in. D. Smith, Kirk Cousins, and kicker for fields and first pick. Uh, no. Why would I trade for Kirk Cousins and the kicker? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Alex Deno with the five. Do we need a new kicker? Also being from Texas, uh, would you route – who would you root? Do you mean who would I rather root for, Dallas or Houston? Oh, Dallas guy. Not an H-Town guy. H-Town's all right, but – we live in Dallas here at Chat Sports. Uh, it's a great city. Game 78, would you try to sign Larry Okunjobi to a one-year deal? Maybe. Poles and Okunjobi obviously have some sort of relationship. Now, is that relationship fixable? I don't know. I mean, he signed Okunjobi to that big deal verbally, and then he failed the physical, had to cancel that deal. That's that's a tough tough thing to get past, I would imagine. But am I open to it? Yes. Um, is Larry? I don't know. From Everett Sapp, should the Bears try to trade for Gabriel Davis? I mean, I'd be interested in it. Gabe Davis is a great player. Um, good receiver for the Bills. I don't think he's a number one. I think he thrives due to partially due to Stephon Diggs, but he's coming to his own in the last couple of years. So, yeah, I'd be open to it, but it's not a number one. Just, just understand that from the beginning. From Ron Panday, who won the trade with the Steelers, I like Chase Claypool, but I would have also loved 32nd pick. I mean, look, right now, Pittsburgh's won it. That's just what it is. Now, that trade wasn't just about the final eight games of the 2022 season. I said it then. I've said it recently. I'll say it now. We won't fully be able to, you know, determine who won that trade until probably the end of this next season. Now, if Claypool has a disappointing year and puts up average numbers, then I would say, yeah, Pittsburgh probably won that deal. Uh, they got a French first-round pick for him with it being 32 overall, so... Yeah, early on, uh, Poles took the L on that one, but uh, I don't think we can properly judge it at this point. Uh, we got to give this offseason a chance to play out and see how Claypool and Fields develop chemistry into next year. Now, name a player that the Bears should sign in free agency. Big reason Ryan Poles made that trade is he didn't love the wide receiver free agency pool. Uh, who would you like to sign in free agency? Any player that's available, let us know in the comments. Got time for a few more. Hashtag Bears or Super Chat. If you Super Chat, you can skip the line. Q Carrito, I'm definitely on the keep Fields train, but realistically, who or what would we get more for? Fields or the number one pick? The number one pick. <laughs> I love Fields, but you're getting more of the number one pick. Um, you just are. So 
Um, I don't think you're getting multiple firsts for Justin Fields. Number one pick, you could get multiple firsts for. From Johnny Bernicki, what do you think happens with Aaron Rodgers next year? I have no idea. We're filming this live on Tuesday, and he apparently said on Pat McAfee that if the Packers go into a rebuild, I'm not interested. He's basically said that the last two offseasons. People are going to freak out. Oh, he's going to leave. Well, if the Packers come to him and say, hey, we'd like you to return and we're trying to win this year, then, well, that's not rebuilding. So I honestly think Aaron Rodgers is year to year at this point. Um, he probably won't decide what his future is uh, for another at least month or so. Um, if he decides to return, I do think Jordan Love's going to request a trade. Uh, I do think that will happen. So, I don't know. It feels 50-50. Really, 33-33-33. 33% he retires. 33% he returns to Green Bay. 33% he gets traded to another team. I think all three could be on the table. From Zeus, do you think we should draft Quentin Johnston at four after trading with the Colts uh, for their first round this year? Second round and Buckner, possibly also a first next year. Yeah, so you're saying if you make that trade pick Johnston at four, that feels a little rich. Now, if Quentin Johnston has an incredible combine and uh, good draft workouts, then maybe he goes top five. Receivers go top five sometimes. Jamar Chase went top five. The four feels high for Johnston. I love Quentin Johnston. Um, I think at four, you're probably taking a Will Anderson if he's there, Jalen Carter, uh, maybe a Miles Murphy. I, you know, I, I don't think Johnston or any other receiver goes top five this year. From G Radio, thoughts on Matthew Judon from the Patriots? I think he is out of guaranteed money. I would love him. Producer Jack says he's not for sale, but uh, I uh, I like Judon. Great pass rusher. Um, you got you got to rebuild that rebuild that front four. You just do. So uh, I do think Ryan Poles will be opportunistic on trades. He's not going to over trade for guys because he wants to build through the draft. But if you can get a guy like that to rush the passer for a reasonable trade. Uh, compensation. I think uh, anything uh, could be on the table at this point. If we didn't get to your question, have no fear. Social media is here. Give me a follow at HGramNFL on Twitter and Instagram. Ask me your questions over there. It's at HGramNFL. And then uh, we will end this mailbag on, let's get the Keem super chat in here at the end of this mailbag here. Uh, at HGramNFL, if we didn't get to your question, go ahead and message me over there on Twitter or IG. All right, Keem, you get the final word. A healthy Terrell Lewis could pair perfectly with Jack Sanborn. Also, Poles knows that teams need quarterbacks, so the Bears still have all the leverage. Yeah, I mean, the Bears are in a great spot with the number one pick. You want the choice of quarterback in this draft? You got to trade up with Chicago. It's really that simple. So we'll see it on Terrell Lewis, but I, I do agree with the point on the Bears controlling the draft.